Great Well Investing, Alex here. Today we're talking about the virtual reserve list. What does that mean? So the reserve list are cards that can't be reprinted under any circumstances whatsoever. You'll never see them reprinted. There are 572 cards on the reserve list. But what is on a virtual reserve list? What are cards that are not on the reserve list that we're just never going to see again? These could be actual cards, these could be special versions of cards, or unique ways to print cards that we're just not going to see again. So, what's on the virtual reserve list? Well, let's start off with sealed product. I think that most, if not all, sealed product is generally on the reserve list. You're never going to see them reprint exactly Zendikar again, or exactly... Mirage, well, I mean, it has reserveless cards. Let's pick Mercadian Masks, the first block that didn't have reserveless cards. It would be incredibly strange to imagine a world where they just print Mercadian Masks again. I think it's safe to say they're not going to do that. Now, we could see something interesting like Time Spiral Remastered, where they take the original Time Spiral block, take every single card that's worth one penny or more, and reprint it. I mean, man, that, that, that set has everything in it. All the money cards. If you were looking to buy Time Spiral block original stuff for, like, the investment quality of the cards, well, you just got hosed. But, I mean, that wasn't the real reason to hold on to a box of Future Sight now, was it? So, Virtual Reserve List, I think, starts with Sealed Product. Now, let's go on to some other Virtual Reserve List. I have here a Judge Island on the screen, as you can see, by Therese Nielsen. So, Persona Non Grata. People, and art, mostly artists, that are no longer allowed to be, you know, sponsored or featured on Magic Card Arts anymore. Uh, you know, Wizards is... a company that does not like controversy it does not like you know rabble rousers and doesn't like people that are seen negatively so certain artists think therese nielsen noah bradley uh recently jason felix uh howard uh what's his name harold mcneil okay these artists are certainly ones that are controversial to the point where they will not print magic cards with them on them anymore doesn't mean that we couldn't see another judge promo basic land in the future but we're not going to see this island illustrated by therese nielsen whether you like it or hate it love her artwork hate her artwork doesn't really matter we're not going to see this artwork again actually the price of uh judge islands has dropped significantly in the last few years terrible place to have parked your money that's for sure so yeah i think this is something that I would call the virtual reserve list. You know, the original art for Approach of the Second Sun by Noah Bradley or his basic lands. Or uh, these judge lands, or guru lands by Therese Nielsen. You're just not going to see them again. So, yeah. <laughs> that's That one is more sp version specific. On the topic of artist, we have, unfortunately, artists who are no longer with us. Thinking Wayne England, Christopher Rush, Glenn Angus... Certain artists have passed away. I mean, we're all mortal. We only have a certain amount of time on this earth. And signatures. Signatures on a card are something that is virtual reserve list. You won't get any more. The number of signed lightning bolts or the number of signed tangle wires or the number of signed cryptic commands from Lorwyn is finite. That's it. That's all of them. There are no more. There will never be any more. This is by far the most absolute Almost as if more absolute than the reserve list are, you know, authentic signatures from dead people. There won't be more released into the market. The only ones out there are the ones people are willing to sell that have already been made. So artist signatures are, again, just a special version of a card, but they are on a virtual reserve list. In other words, there is a finite supply. There won't be more of them made. And whatever the prices are, we should probably see them increase in the future. Next, we have controversial cards, okay? controversial army of the law it's not on the reserve list i think that it's a card we are very unlikely to see ever again in the future if you just look at you know there's you know an arab proverb on it references the real world uh even religion into it it's just not something you're going to see in a pack ever again 
So it's not on the reserve list, but it is something that they won't reprint. Now, I want to talk a little bit on the topic of the reserve list and on reprints in general. Anything that is not on the reserve list, virtual reserve list, can technically be reprinted. I think most people were shocked when, here I have it open already, Double Masters introduced these unhinged lands, destroying the value that these had at one point. This is very strange. I, I, I personally never predicted them that they would reprint unhinged lands, like give me the full border. Yeah, they changed the frame a little bit. Yeah, they changed the set symbol, but I mean, it's it's honestly just pretty scary. Nothing is sacred, as they say. I think that uh, we are going to see a lot of this type of, this method of reprint. Something that is at one point desirable. They got their money out of it. They extracted the value. And then they will continue to find ways to make more money off of it. With cutting corners, you know, reprinting these, I think was kind of just like a rushed thing. But I don't think it's the last time we'll see something like this. So something that you think might not be reprinted could very well be reprinted i remember when i bought my judge elish norn i remember paying like 500 dollars or something crazy for it and then they just printed a new wave of them and they went down to like 200 now it's back up higher up there in the four or five hundred range but at the time i remember them being released and i was just floored i was like whoa they can just do another wave they can just make more and it was you know one of those like eye openers like yeah the supply can just go up so you know there are a lot of cards that you might think are safe from being reprinted, but if they're not on the reserve list, they are not safe from being reprinted. Um, aside from the artist signatures here, um, anything else is technically fair game. I made this video today because I wanted to show cards that I think are unlikely to see print, and I think you need to look at extreme examples, such as the artist being shunned publicly, the content being very disturbing or very controversial or somebody's dead. I think you need to look at it to extremes of that level to make sure you are think uh, to make sure you're protected against future reprints, right? Anything else could become the double masters slash unhinged forest. Anything else that's not on this list. So buyer beware. Exercise caution. Is there something that you think is on the virtual reserve list? Something that is like pretty sure to never be reprinted? Have you been burned by a reprint before? Let me know in the comments. I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts on the subject.